Hello, I'm the that and today I'll show you a video about the new PS Vita game Dumper and Installer Vitamin. Um, at first you need a PlayStation Vita that's running version 3.60 and you have to install the Henkaku Hen for the PlayStation Vita via the web browser. I showed you in a previous video how to do this and it's recommended to update it. So if you already have it on your device, click on the little install button, go to the website and update it. Um, if you have updated it and enabled it, you can go to your system settings and you will see that it now changes a little Henkaku version 3, so like the old custom firmware in the PlayStation Portable. This is a 3.60 PlayStation Vita and it's running Henkaku, well, I think version 3, I suppose. And what I wanted to show you is this application called Vitamin. At first, um, I would recommend you to install the newest version of Vita Shell. I think it's 0 0.85. Um, I showed you showed you before how to install uh, VPK files. I think I hope. Uh, if not, you can just open Molecular Shell or Vita Shell. Press Select. Okay, and then you can enable the um, FTP server connection via this. Uh, at the moment, I can't because my Wi-Fi is disabled, and then I have to restart the application. But that doesn't matter. And what you have to do is you have to install the vitamin minus omega dot vpk file. If you do this, I mean I may as well just do this. I'm not sure if it's going to error because I already have it or if it's just going to override it. Let's see. Regardless of what happens, um, if you do not have vitamin yet on your device, just download the VPK file, transfer it via um, FTP, and then install it via Molecular Shell or Vita Shell. Then the next thing we're going to do is you open the Vitamin application and click Start. You will get a list of PlayStation Vita games and applications, such as my Corpse Party game, which is um, a cartridge, by the way. I mean, a game package here. And you can also have your um, PlayStation Network games, such as my, I think my Minecraft and my Field Runners. And it also shows, well, applications like Crunchyroll and so on. Um, the dumping progress will take a long time if it's a big game. So I'm just going to demonstrate this on the small Crunchyroll application. Uh, you can click on it and then you can dump the game and dump the update files. The update files are not always necessary but you should at least dump the full game. And how the process looks like, you click on dump game, then it's going to inject morphine, and then you will have to do the following. When it says press X, you press X. And then it's going to open the party application. Inside of the party application, it's going to open the um, manual of the game you're going to dump. Then you press your PlayStation button. You do not close the party app, you just swipe over and go back into vitamin and then you have to wait. It's now initializing the dumping process and it's going to switch a few times between the applications by itself so you don't have to touch anything anymore. And this application, this Crunchyroll app is actually pretty small in size and it still takes a pretty long time to dump this game but the application will eventually finish and dump the game to, I think, UX0 slash vitamin. And then you should have a VPK file with the name of your game. So when this is done, I should have a crunchyroll.vpk file or I should have a PCSE00303 VPK file. So either the name or the ID of the game you're dumping it's going to be in your vitamin folder. I'm going to show you the folder when this process is done. And then we're going to delete our Crunchyroll app and install the VPK file so we can verify that our dump was successful. Like I said, this can dump PlayStation Network games and cartridges. So if you have a game only on a cartridge but you would prefer to have a digi digitally then you can just dump your game and install the VPK file. 
And once again, if your game is bigger, like for example the Hatsune Miku games, or I don't know, my course party game, or whatever PlayStation Vita game you want to play, then it will take a pretty long time to dump it. So you, you might want to just put your Vita aside, let it do its work, and maybe connect the charger so it doesn't run out of battery. Also, if you started this Vitamin Pro, says you should not touch your Vita until it's finished. And as you can see, it's automatically switching a few times between the applications because it has to decrypt the eboot.bin file and eventually it will finish. As you can see, finished, it's done. It says it was successful and now if I press X, I'm going to exit. And if I now go back into my Vita shell, I could also use the molecular shell, doesn't matter. And now I go to my UX0 folder and I go to my vitamin folder. I have a full game dump of these games. I think one of it is my application and the other one was a failed dump because I um, ran out of battery. And the third one was the Skype application, I think. Okay, this dump 303 should be our Crunchyroll application. We can just test this. Um, where's my Crunchyroll app? I think it's here. There we go. I'm just going to delete this. And then afterwards I'm going to install my Crunchyroll app from my VPK file as a proof. Ten years later. <clears throat> as a proof that we actually installed the version from the VPK file and not a version why is it taking so long to delete one app? Okay, there we go. Okay, now we install this file that we just created, the 303 file. Yes, installing. And after it has successfully installed the file, um, yes, I created it myself, so it's trusted. After we created this file, we should be able to run it as an application. I'm not sure if you can only run it if you're in the Hankaku mode. I assume that's the case, like it was the case with, well, custom farmers before. But, so yeah. Like I said, this application is, well, kind of a beta or alpha version, so it's still taking some time to dump the files. You don't really have a progress bar. You don't know how fast it is dumping, but it will finish eventually. If you think your dumper is um, frozen or whatever, keep in mind that if it's dumping a very big file, it will not tell you anything about the file until it's done. So if it's dumping like a one gigabyte file, it won't show any progress for a long time until it actually finished this one gigabyte file, and then it's going to show progress again. Let's see, did we get a new bubble? There we go, we got a new Crunchyroll bubble. Going to move it back to the folder where it was previously in. And if I start this, it should be working. Ah, uh, yes, close Vita shell. <laughs> of course, when I showcase this, it's not working. But, um, like I said, the vitamin application is supposed to be able to dump games and you should be able to install any VPK Vita file game you put on your memory card. This includes dumps you did yourself, this includes dumps your friends did, and this unfortunately includes also dumps you can just download and upload from and to the internet. So this basically enables piracy. What you do with this application, it's up to you. If you want to use piracy, okay, go ahead. If you do not want to use piracy and just want to, well, Put the game you have on the cartridge on your memory card so you can play it on the go without requiring the cartridge or you can give the cartridge to a friend or whatever then that's also a good solution that's at least what i'm going to do so i have all my three oops course party games in one folder so yeah this was my little video about the vitamin application it was created by i think the flow mr gas and major tom some of those people are pretty pissed off because some asshole leaked this and, well, better choose trustworthy be uh, beta testers, otherwise you get leaks, whatever. So yeah, um, you will need 
PS Vita running version 3.60, you will need the Henkaku, and I think I pretty much showed everything you need to know to get this to work. I think I showed how to install Henkaku, and I'm pretty sure I showed how to install the VPK files. If I did not, it's pretty simple, just move a VPK, whoops, move a VPK file via FTP onto your PS Vita, and then click on the VPK file and install it. For example, it just enable Wi-Fi, whatever. So yeah, this was my video about Vitamin. This does enable Vita piracy, but keep in mind that if you use pirated Vita games and visit the PlayStation Network store, you will most likely get banned. So only use them if you're offline. I'm with you there and see you soon.